Hey guys! Okay, so today's video is actually the second time that I am recording this video. Um, the first time it was just a fail and didn't want to upload. I think I've got it right now, so we're gonna we're gonna try again and hope we get it right. But today is pretty much a haul slash first impressions on this new brand that I found at Walmart, recommended by a friend, but found other products is hard candy. I'd never heard of this product before, so I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Uh, also, today's shirt is the Sound of the South uh, 50th anniversary. It's tradition on our legacy. It's the year 65, because 1965 was the first year the Sound of the South uh, for Troy University as their marching band was first introduced. So there's my shirt for today. Hey, you wonder what tradition is written all across my chest. So if you're interested in learning more about my five products that I found that I have fallen in love with, stay tuned. Okay, so our first product is the primer. I got the, oh, let me find it. Okay, the first product is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Color Correcting Primer. And it is the green one because if you look on a color wheel, Green is opposite of red, so they balance each other out, they counteract each other. If you look, see if I can get close enough. If you look, my skin, I have really red cheeks. There's some weird shit going on in my house. I have really red under eyes, um, not purple. Uh, surprisingly, they're red. And around my nose and my mouth are really, really red. So, when I look for a color corrector, I look for a green because it's what balances it out. And this product is actually really, really cool. It's a mint green, and when you put it on, I'm just going to do a little dab, like I'm just going to go on my cheeks. Um, it's actually really, let's see if you, it's really a pretty green, moussey color. I like it. I like it a lot. And um, when you, it's it's whipped, so you like have to activate it, kind of bounce it, and then apply it to your skin. And you can't really tell when you first. That light is way too bright. Let's see if we can dimmer on down. Oh, oh, much better. Okay, and it's, you just blend it in. Can't really tell, but um, you can definitely tell my cheeks are red again, so you just blend it in. And just get a good, even layer where you feel you need to color correct. Okay, the only thing I do not like about this product is that when you initially put it on, it looks like it disappears. I don't know if y'all can tell. It looks like it kind of disappears. You can still feel it, but it's it's kind of like it's not there. It doesn't look like it's covering up the actual um, redness. But um, once you put on a foundation, I don't know if it's the foundation itself or just whatever. But anyways, the second product is the... Hard Candy Glamouflage Invisible Camouflage Foundation. And it's actually in the shade 930 Porcelain. Okay, and it is, it's you, when you first get in the package, it looks like this. And it actually says new, so it might, it might be a new product. <laughs> well, you know. Okay, so when you first get it, it's not twist off like I originally thought I made a mess all over my makeup table it's actually a pull off and it's a little it has a little pump applicator and you just pump whatever you need and it is a pretty thick formula and it goes a long way it's very 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 let me say it again very full coverage foundation I'm talking a little bit goes a long way. It just, I mean, hello. 
That's literally me dabbing my finger in it. I didn't mean to flip you guys off. And just doing like that. And then you just take like a, a beauty sponge and you just blend it out. And see, I don't know if it's the primer mixed with the foundation or just the foundation. Like I just got it today, so I don't know what all it will help with. But if you look, the areas, I didn't really blend too well, but the areas that are blended tend to be what out. But you can still see my freckles. So it's it's weird. But uh no. we'll see. So you just blend this all over. you can really see it now that I covered up my nose. You would just blend this all over your face and take your time blending because like I said it's very thick and if you go don't go too heavy handed just just be patient because if you go too heavy handed you end up looking like a clown especially with a uh, baby booty face color like me I'm transparent so that was the hard candy glamouflage foundation Okay, so our next product is the concealer that I have heard so many good rates. A friend of mine told me about it and she absolutely raved over this. And then I saw on a blog actually today about like five must-have beauty products for this person for like 2016. And, excuse me, the Hard Candy Glamouflage uh, heavy duty concealer was the number one product on their list like cannot live without I will say this I tried it on this afternoon it is no joke when it says heavy duty I mean it is thick like seriously watch how much I put on my hand okay mustache boop you can't even see it you can't even see you can barely see how much product I have put on my hand that is how little you need and then you go in with your fingers And you get it on there and you blend it in that's literally a dab into a dab Boom. but you can tell like look how well it works like this eye has concealer on it and I even blend it out concealer no concealer concealer no concealer okay let's do the other eye And I like to go up over my lid because not only is it a good primer, but I have a lot of discoloration all around my eyes, not just under my eyes, but like in my eyelids and everything. So I really like to blend all over that to kind of neutralize that and even it out. Now, a um, little disclaimer, people. I'm not putting all of this product all over my face. There's no product on my forehead. There's no product on my brows. There's no product on my chin or my lips. I'm just doing this to kind of demonstrate what you would do with these products when you're putting them on and how sparingly you can use these. My friend, she, her name is Rebecca, when she told me about this concealer, she literally said she's had this one tube of concealer. She had it for a year and a half and she's just now running out. Hello? And it was six dollars. Six dollars. Of course I had to get it. Okay, so this is my face with the primer on my cheeks, a little bit of foundation on my cheeks, and the concealer right around my eyes, not even in the triangle that I normally do my concealer under. You can still see that it's not quite as blended, but I'm just trying to get 
a little little dab of do you kind of thing going showing how little product you need and um what to do with it although I don't know why you guys wouldn't know what to do with this stuff but I'm not judging not judging mm. okay so our last two products are just kind of little except I call them accessory products because personally I don't need them every day but when I do wear them I feel like BAM Okay, so this one is the Stroke of Gorgeous Felt Tip Eyeliner with Lash Enhancing Serum in the shade Little Black Dress. And it looks like a little pin, and then you pop it off, and it looks like a little marker top, really. But let me show you how beautiful. I don't know if you can tell, like I'm barely putting any pressure, and it just, it's a beautiful little like very easy to do and now let me just tell y'all I am not a winger at all like I am horrible at doing a wing yet here I am Popping on a wing like it ain't nobody's business. Look at that. You see how those things, oh lord, didn't let it dry. Please let this stuff dry, like, before you seriously mess up your makeup. So, this is just, you just watched me put on a wing that I never do. So it's like, me, you. Okay, so that is the felt tip eyeliner. Super easy. I absolutely love this. The only thing that I could probably compare compare it to is something I don't. I even I used it to draw a little tattoo. Something I do not have would be the Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner in the shade Trooper. Everyone raves for that, but I do not have it, so I cannot say like it's a good comparison. And our final product. I know it's taken long, but we've come to an end. Is a gloss. I've been looking for a baby pink glossy gloss forever. Jaclyn Hill said it best when she said she looks for a glossy gloss and nobody makes them anymore. Boo, I found you one and it's for five dollars. It's the Hard Candy Fierce Effects Daring Lip Gloss in shade 970 Candy Baby. Let me tell you. It has a brush applicator. It's not a um sponge. It's got a weird smell. Other than that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain. But it's a brush applicator, and it's a just baby. I don't know if you can even tell. It's just a baby pink. Yeah, you can't even see it, but it's got a good shimmer. Let's see if you can see it on my lips. It's got just a beautiful shimmer to it. And it doesn't really like take away from your natural lip color. It just adds a beautiful baby pink to it. Mm. Look at... <sighs> you guys, I have been looking for a lip gloss to do this to my lips for months now. For five dollars at Walmart, I have found it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay guys, so if you have reached this point in my video, you've hit the end. Congratulations, you have done it. You have stuck with me and I'm so proud of you for making it through my first video even though I know it's going to be horrible. Just bear with me. Okay, so I hope you guys love whatever this was, a haul, first impressions, a application, <laughs> horrible application by the way, but I seriously hope you guys love this video. I'm going to, I'm going to try with what, what limited resources and products and everything I have, I'm going to try. If you have a suggestion for a video, please let me know, and I will do my best to do it. I'm going to start doing, like, little looks. Do not swear by it. I'm just an average girl doing makeup that I love. 
So, like I said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to be putting them more out soon. I love you guys, and I hope you have a good rest of the week, day, afternoon, whatever you're, night, whatever you're doing. I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.